and go back and is going to move. Four-wheel driving to get out of there, right in the drainage line. You're going to go other side. Okay, thanks for this, guys. Always such a exciting thing around here when there's a leopard kill. This means that all the visitors, all the guests here, including you, really get to see some good leopard. It keeps them in one place. It's impossible for us to find them. Let's just get right in here and see a bit of a steep, sharp angle. Ah. Like it. How's that? Chris again? Chris Taylor? Yeah, Chris, can you see that one mumping pot on the. Oh, okay, there's Karula, I didn't see her there until now. <laughs> it's good to see now. Um, I haven't got mumping pines yet, are they? The one on the hill? Yeah, almost in a straight line from, if you look over Karula, about six meters other side of her is the other Mampimpa, and the other one moved back to where the original Nyama was. Okay. His mum coming in as well. Yeah, pull in. Guys, she's going to climb the tree. Look at that. Wow. I think she's going to go up to that carcass. Yo. Always amazing to see the agility of these cats. Just think that she climbed up there with the food in her mouth as well. Wondering how she got up there yesterday. against the tree as well. and climb it closer. It's just sitting behind the branch at the moment. So forward. A bit of grooming there as well. Making sure the adult doesn't have anything creeping around oh, the ear or that. ticks that might annoy too much. Very amazing to watch. Social time. Okay, so 
let's remove the carcass again. Chris, if you want to come around this side, we'll move out here. Drop out. It would have been amazing to see how she actually got it up there last night. Probably going to move back a little bit. It seems to be fascinated by us. She's climbing around and trying to get a better look at the feed. But she came out to the tip of the tree here closest to us. If this carcass actually falls down, it's hanging literally by a limb. There. Being satisfied. Let's move around a little bit, trying to get in front of those other ones. There he is, again. It's on first. If the carcass falls, it's going to be interesting because these hyenas lying close by. Guarantee you, their ears are trained <laughs> at the moment. They can hear this leopard moving up there. Yeah, it's a lot. The humanness of getting some food is high enough. Sitting, crossing the arms. They hear a flock of carcass ground. They'll be in here like lightning flash. So it's probably slipped up in this tree last night. It's quite a big tree. It's one of the bigger trees in this vicinity. Quite safe for them. You know, leopard or something wouldn't really be able to get up to those tip of the branches where these monkeys could get to. Obviously, this morning being a bit cool enjoy the sunlight and there's a bit of grooming going on and there's a bit of interaction. It's not a very big troop. It's about sort of seven or so of them in total. Maybe the others have moved on already. They actually call them a shrewdness of monkeys as well. This little character. Seems to think a bit deeper and longer and further than the other monkeys do. around slightly. Oh, look at that. Try and see. These ones in the back are grooming. See if we can get a clear look at them. We'll just make a little bit of space. Chris is dying to see this as well. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 